Smiling Critters, one of Playtime Co.'s biggest successes. And rightfully so. They were precious, beloved by children and adults alike. Or at least, most of them were. Hmm, looks like we had a little misprint here. No worries. You're going to be with your little messed up friends. In you go! The rest were doomed to be thrown into the flames. Thankfully, these ones weren't alive. But I know somewhere deep down inside, they could feel the misery of not being perfect. Of being a reject. I know exactly how they feel. The smiling critters ruled the world of children's toys. They flew off the shelves. Especially Dog Day, their leader, and Bubba Bubba fan as well. With one big exception. Catnap. Playtime Co.'s newest creation. There were reports that he was giving kids across the country nightmares. I know the perfect game for us. There really was no coming back from a PR disaster like a toy that prevents kids from getting good sleep. With Catnap being a total financial failure, the Smiling Critter's brand was almost put on ice. Deciding they had invested too much in the project to give up on it completely, the leaders of Playtime Co. decided to come up with a brand new Smiling Critter. One that went in a new direction. You've seen other cheery smiling critters like Dog Day and Bubba Bubba Fence, but you've never seen anyone quite like Frowny Fox, the brand new smiling critter. Or should I say, unsmiling critter? The newest smiling critter was me. While the others giggle and play, Frowny Fox rests alone, contemplating life's big questions. Unlike the others, he's sensitive, a great listener, and more than anything, longs to be understood. What do you think he's putting in that well? Secrets, Bubba Bubba Fent. Secrets. Frowny Fox, because you can't have rainbows without a little rain. Disclaimer, magical well and cracked mirror not included. They were sure that I would be a valuable new member of the Smiling Critters lineup. A bold innovation that would allow them to tap into a whole array of human emotions. So, what do you think of Frowny Fox, my boy? Pretty cool, huh? He... he's... he's even worse than Catnap! He doesn't have any color! <laughs> and he stinks! He smells like wet dog! Well, technically it's wet fox. To say my feelings were hurt was an understatement. Stop that! He's not yours! I'm telling your mother! You failed us, Frowny Fox. Uh, we couldn't be hip with the kids after all. I should have known you were a mistake. Frowny Fox, what an idiotic idea. Like I said, they loved all smiling critters except for the ones they deemed as failures. And now, I was one of them. I don't know how long I sat in the trash, but eventually, a miracle occurred. Someone saved me. Is this a smiling critter? I don't recognize this one. I don't blame them for getting rid of this guy. Maybe I can use him for parts. My child, what have they done to you? Don't worry, I can fix you. Catnap, he gave me life. What? I'm alive? Oh, thank you so much. I'll take you home. And that leads us to where we are now. Dog day, Baba. Meet our new friend. Um, what's your name? It's Frowny Fox. Frowny Fox? Really? You all get to know each other. Can I play with you? Nah, we're good. Please. Dog Day, give him a chance. Great, that was our last ball. Yeah, thanks for nothing, new guy. Uh, it's okay, uh, maybe we can still use it. Wait. Ah. Ew, severed arm, get it away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. What a freak! And he smells too! The CEO was right. I belong in the trash. Maybe in the furnace with the others. Don't say things like that! Huh? Uh, who are you? I'm Hoppy! Hoppy Hopscotch! Are you gonna be mean to me like the others? Of course not! There! Good as new! I've never seen your face around here before! I'm Frowny Fox, 
I'm a reject. We're all rejects in one way or another, right? No! I was literally rejected by the kids, by the CEO, and now those two. I'm not good enough for anyone. Well, I won't reject you. I personally think you seem like a good guy. You think I'm good? Of course I do. You don't need those other people. I'll be your friend. Really? Yeah! Wow, this is amazing. I've never had food before. That's crazy. Being alive for the first time? I hardly remember. It feels so long ago. Oppie, what are you doing hanging out with that freak? Snack time, huh? I've got a snack for you. Ah, Hoppy, help! Get out of here, loser! Really? You too? Freddy Fox, no! It was an accident! I didn't mean to hit you! I knew you'd be just like them! I'm leaving! Forever! Freddy Fox, wait! The lab house maiden! It must be this way! Oh, I can't fit in here! But maybe I can fit part of me! <laughs> Now all I have to do is find the right ingredients. This'll show them all! Here goes everything. <laughs> they have no idea what's gonna hit them. Well, well, well. If it isn't the freak show, I'm surprised you came back after all. You're gonna regret what you did, Bubba. What are you gonna do? Smack me to death with your broken arm? Good luck with that. What the? Don't worry, I won't kill you. At least, I don't think so. <laughs> you again. I figured you went back to the furnace with the other freaks. That's where you belong. Ah! What the? Let me go! Let me go! And why should I? Get ready to take a long nap, dog day. Wait! Hoppy? What do you want? I want you to let Dog Day go! Why should I? Because this isn't the real you! Don't you remember? We had so much fun together! We were friends! You're not mean! They made you this way! You're a good critter! But just because they hurt you, doesn't mean you should hurt them! You're right! Dog Day, you're a jerk, but I'm not gonna hurt you! Wh whatever I'm out of here! You did the right thing! What have you done? I rescue you, and this is how you repay us? Kidnap, no! He's changed! I know he's changed. Into a monster! I saw what you did to Bubba. You nearly killed him. I promise not to hurt anyone else, Catnap. Please! Why should I believe you? <laughs> no! No! Hm. That ought to show you. I gave you a chance at life, and you abused it. I better not see you here again. Leave him be. He doesn't deserve your help. Hoppy, why are you helping me after everything I've done? Just because you made a bad choice doesn't mean you're all bad, Frowny Fox. You'll never be a reject to me. No! Oh, please, stop! What a baby! I thought you wanted to play with us. We're just giving you what you asked for. A little game of dodgeball. It feels like you're just trying to hurt me. Little reject can't take the heat, huh? Brownie Fox, I'm losing my grip. Yeah, I think you're gonna slip. Help! What are you two doing? Are you trying to kill him? Hoppy! Oh, thank God you're here. We're just playing. Calm it down, would you? He asked to play with us. You're not playing with him. You're bullying him! If you're not careful, you'll kill him! Now let him go! Oh, you're hurting me! Yeah, you're hurting him! Just let him go and we'll take good care of him! Uh, eyes! I'm never letting go! My arm! Whoa! Brownie Fox! Hoppy! Did we kill him? No one needs to know! No one will even notice him, right? Right! Let's bail! Brownie Fox, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I guess this is it for me. If I could, 
I'd make those smiling critters pay for what they've done! I'll get you... somehow! What is this stuff? It burns! It burns! Who made me feel worthless? Who treated me like garbage? Who tried to kill me? That kicking chicken, Dog Day, and Hoppy Hopscotch. I thought she was my ally, but she let me fall into that fire. She is the worst of them all, and she will pay. <laughs> Chicken, 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 wake up. Uh, what? Chicken, chicken, come find me. Who is that? Sound like it's coming from over here, but who could it? Shh, you wouldn't want to wake the others, would you? Good morning, Hoppy. No good morning. I'm so mad at you. Drama queen. Good morning, kickin' chicken. Kickin' chicken? Maybe you went to the furnace to apologize. Kickin' chicken never apologizes. Boys. I'm gonna go find him. He's not much of an early bird. No pun intended. You can go alone. I'm staying right here. Look at this. It looks like... Brownie Fox's fur. Maybe he dragged some in after everything happened. I gotta follow this trail. Maybe then I can find where Kick and Chicken went. I don't know, Dog Day. What if someone took him? I can deal with him. You stay here. I have a really bad feeling about this. Kick and Chicken? Kick and Chicken, are you there? Look out! Look, look, look! <laughs> <laughs> What happened to you? I happened. No, really. You did this to yourselves. Ah! Nice try, but you're no match for me. What are you? I'm a reject, remember? Ah! Dog Day? I knew something bad was gonna happen. Dog Day, I'm coming for you. You guys, you're alive. Barely. I bet I can knock through this rope. Well, well, girl. If it isn't my best friend. Brownie Fox, you're alive! I'm so happy to see you. Even if it's like this. The girl who let me fall into the flames. So happy to see me. We'll see how happy you stay. What's wrong with you? I was just trying to help. And look at what a good job you did. We've had so many good times together. <laughs> Wow, this is amazing. I've never had food before. It was an accident. Everyone makes mistakes. I'd never hurt you. Too little, too late, Hoppy Hopscotch. Prepare to suffer the same fate as me. What did you all say? It's where all the rejects go? Well, welcome to the party. Release them now or else. Or else what? Or else I'll... What? Ah! I may not be able to use my claws, but I can still use my breath to... What was that? I didn't quite catch it. <laughs> now, get ready to roll. Huh? I got 
got you! Say goodbye, smiling critter! Huh? Where did she? How did she? You little pest! Fine! If that's what you want, this is what you get! No! Stop the conveyor belt! Poppy, I don't think I can take him. Brownie Fox, please stop! Please! Hmm, maybe... Oh, thank God! You saved us! Not quite yet. I propose a compromise. A trade, maybe. I'll give you anything! All right. Then jump in. Wh what? You made me fall in. Now you can suffer the same fate. Or your friends can. It's up to you, Hoppy. You or them. Hoppy, save us! Save yourself! I... I'll do it. We'll find a way out of this. It's okay. I'm... I'm ready. Then, let's go. No stranger to this furnace. They tried to kill me this way before to no avail. But this time, this time felt different. I knew it was all over. For my body, that is. They would think I was dead. Little do they know, when a spirit is so strong and so angry, there's no getting rid of it. At least, not this easily. My body died in that moment, but my soul lived on, and somehow, it was set free. Hmm, it's a downgrade? Or perhaps not. I might just have a way out of here. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's get out of here. I should have saved you again. I hope your soul is at rest, Brownie Fox, and I hope it can forgive me. Oh, Hoppy, my soul will be at rest once it takes its revenge on you once and for all! <laughs> I don't get that Hoppy sometimes. She's so soft. She'd make friends with a rock if she could. Why on earth would she feel so bad about a freak who tried to kill us twice? Dog day. Huh? Who's there? Dog day. Hoppy? Kicking chicken? That's strange. Dog day over here. Follow the sound of my voice. Okay. Okay, I'm following you. Mind telling me who you are and what you want? I think you know who I am and exactly what I want. Huh? What are you? Ah! What's going on? Did you, did you do that? Perhaps. Why don't you stick around and find out? Where do you think you're going? Stop! Try avoiding this! How is this happening? Since you made it this far, I might as well show you. <laughs> it's me! It sounded like it's coming from here. Chicken Chicken, is that you? Please, come help me! It's coming from the rubble! Dog Day, we'll get you out of there! It was him! He's back! Who, Dog Day? f f, -f, -f frowny Fox! Ha! Huh, no way! I heard him! He caved in the ceiling! He threw the rubble at me! And I saw his reflection! Sounds like a guilty conscience, if you ask me. Nuh-uh! I swear I saw him! He was like a ghost! Dog Day, you should know better. Ghosts aren't real. Stop trying to scare us. B -b but the ghost! I ain't afraid of no ghost. If you really think it's out here, I'll find it and I'll take care of it. But how? I'll beat it up. You can't beat up a ghost. Well, I'll find a way. You two get out of here, babies. Ghost. <laughs> 
All right, Ghost. If you're here, you have a date with me and my fish. Yeah, stay quiet. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, I'm leaving. No ghosts. I was right, as always. Was that? No. Do I really look like that? <laughs> uh. I'm getting out of here. I must be seeing things. Chicken, chicken! Chicken, chicken! You look horrible! I have to keep it out! It? What are you talking about? It's right there! It was chasing me! Well, let's see! Poppy, don't let it in! No, it... it must have been the ghost! The voice calling to me, it sounded like... Frowny Fox, right? Exactly! You were right, Dog Day! It's a ghost! You're both hysterical! You need sleep! But, but, Hoppy! A little rest will do your boys some good! Hopefully they feel better in the morning. Hoppy! You! You did this! You could have saved me, but you were selfish! I tried! Hoppy! Wake up! It's the ghost! Ah! Brony Fox! You're real! And you're a... Uh... A ghost! Yes, Hoppy. You all tried to kill me, but true evil can never die! Hoppy, make him stop! Please, let my friends go! I will, if you promise me one thing. Whatever it takes. As you can see, I'm a little translucent. One could say lacking a body. So give me yours. Mine? Let my soul take over your form and give me a chance at new life. And you promise not to hurt them? Promise. It's a deal. <laughs> yes! Oof! Hoppy, what did you do? There is no Hoppy now. Now it is only me. Brownie Fox! Let her go right now! She promised willingly, in return for your safety. Our safety? I promised I wouldn't hurt you. But it doesn't count as a handshake when you don't have a real hand. Dog Day, we have to run! Ha! Good luck trying to outrun me! You mortals only get so far! Look! There! We have to destroy Frowny Fox again! But there's no way to destroy him without destroying Hoppy too! Actually, I might have an idea. Hoppy, I mean, Frowny Fox, come get us. Why are you trying to get them over here? Just watch, and when I say go, go. You know when you're playing hide and seek, you're not supposed to say, come and get us. If you're not gonna play by the rules, neither will we. Kick and chicken, go. <laughs> Why, you stupid mortals. Not so stupid now, huh? What are you doing? Enjoy your new home, Frowny Fox. No, stop this at once. No, no! <laughs> Clearly these smiling critters were stronger and smarter than I thought. Wait, what are they doing? I don't want to do this, Frowny Fox. <laughs> Thrown out like trash yet again. Haven't they learned by now? They're still containing someone of my power! What the? Being non-corporeal has its benefits. What? Who are you? We are the Forgotten Ones. The ones they left behind. 
The smiling critters no one wanted. You're smiling critters? We are. Or at least, we were. Until that wretched CEO... Threw us away! Broke us! Locked us in here, never to be seen again. Until you came. I too am a victim of those cruel smiling critters and that evil CEO! And you came here to save us? I... I did! We owe you our undying allegiance, Mr... Brownie Fox. We're going to take revenge on those smiling critters! I have tried time and time again, but I have been alone. Now, with an army of rejects! Hey! That, that, sorry, forgotten folk. We have a fighting chance. Silly Shelly, you take on Hoppy Hopscotch. Clever Claws, you get Bubba Bubba Finn. Molly McMoo, Piggy Piggy. Dolly Jaws, you'll fight Dog Day. And Jerry Giraffe gets Crafty Corn. Got it? Then, let's get to work. You couldn't save him, Hoppy. You had to save us first. It just feels wrong. I have to keep betraying him. And this time, he's gone for good. Hoppy. Did you hear that? I don't hear anything. Hoppy. It sounds like him. I don't like this, Bubba. I should follow it. None of the state you're in. Don't worry, I'll go after him. I just have a bad feeling that... Ah! What's going on? Who are you? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Bubba, you're getting warmer. How do you know my name? Don't you recognize my voice? I thought an elephant never forgets. Whoever you are, I found you! Ah, let me go! Huh, you're weak, and yet I became the reject. What are you talking about? I'm in heaven! All I can eat all the time! Let's just hope I don't get caught. I jinxed it. You can come out. Hobby? Bubba? Ah! Help me! Come on, sister. Don't have a cow. Hoppy, I heard you screaming and... Let me go! That hurts! You're too slow for me. Some smiling critter you are. What the heck are you? Some kind of smiling critter I've never seen before? I'll, I'll tell, tell you who I am. am. My name is Clever Claws, and I was not always a toy. <sighs> I was free once, a real lion cub living in Africa. I was destined to become the king of my pride, but tragedy struck. I was captured. <laughs> And sold to a horrible man. That evil, horrible CEO. That's where I met Jerry Giraffe, another one of the CEO's kidnapped pets. He wanted to make me powerful, a monstrous smiling quitter like Catnap. But his plan misfired, and I just became a regular smiling quitter, completely useless to him. What? You were supposed to be big and powerful. Another large cat to take down Catnap. What a waste of a perfectly good lion. To the trash with you. He stole my life. The life as a king that I was meant to have. All for some stupid toy company. Instead of fulfilling my destiny, I laid with the rest of the trash. Seemingly forever. I was supposed to be part of the safari line of smiling critters. Alongside Clever Claws. This jungle collection is my next great idea. That pathetic little lion might not have worked out, but I'm sure you won't disappoint me. We'll just have to switch from surgery to electroshock therapy is all. Oh, another failure. I guess you safari vermin aren't up to the task. I was never a real animal. I was Molly McMoo, 
part of the same farm collection as Kick and Chicken and Piggy Piggy, but I wasn't nearly as popular. Get a load of this gross, stinky cow! Big talk coming from a pig! Listen, Molly McMoo, I rule the roost around here. You're just a dirty barn animal. You both tormented me night and day until you bullied me right to my doom. I know what it's like to be the cool smiling critter. I used to be cool myself. A bit too cool. Jolly Jaws, they called me. My mighty teeth scared all the children that played with me. Those kids are right. You are a little intimidating, aren't you? Well, I think I can fix that. The CEO plucked my teeth right out. But who would want a toothless shark? Well, now you're just an ugly normal fish. I guess I should have thought that through. Trial and error is an important part of the creative process, though, I suppose. Do you all remember my story? Why is he so slow? It's like he can't do anything. Hey, Silly Shell, catch! You nearly killed me. Ah, my shell. What on earth is going on here? Look at your shell. How did you do this to yourself? What a shame. All busted up. You're far too fragile to be mass-produced, aren't you? But, but none of that matters, matters anymore. Freddy, Freddy Fox, Fox saved, saved us. And, and he, he will, will conquer, conquer you. you. As long as Frowny Fox lives, we will never die. Frowny Fox put you up to this? But how? He found us and broke us free. We owed him our lives, and he commanded us to destroy you. We had no issue with doing so. Most of you destroyed us. You are half the reason we spent our days in garbage. Soon, Frowny Fox will rule over all of you. Silly Shell! I'm sorry to have to do this to a fellow smiling critter, but we're getting rid of you for good! No! It can't end like this! Brownie Fox! Brownie Fox, come save us! Why should I? You failed me! You're of no use to me anymore! But we did everything you asked! And yet you lost! There's clearly a reason you were forgotten! You're weak, pathetic even! Time to be rid of you all for good. No! No! Come on, guys! Move it! It's still hot on our trail! <laughs> what is that thing anyway? Whatever it is, it's big and mean and wants to eat us for dinner! No way! I'm not gonna be fried chicken! Chicken chicken! There's nothing we could do for him now! We gotta keep moving! And watch out for more traps! You never know what could be just around the corner! Okay, no! Grab my hand! No! You've gotta run! Warn the others before it's too late! <laughs> Pathetic. Who, who are you? You don't remember me. No matter. Perhaps this will jog your memory. Wait, no! No! Please! Leave her alone! Stand back, Hobby. I'll take care of this. <laughs> you. Oh, 
always the hero, aren't you, catnip? <sighs> when it comes to my friends, absolutely. And you're nothing more than a big bully. Bully? Wait, that's how I know you. You're... you're... <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's me, Bull Trap. Bull Trap? Now how do I know that name? <laughs> Allow me to remind you of... The legend of the dark critter. It was many years ago that reject frowny fox just flopped in the stalls and the smiling critter's brand was at an all-time low. No one at Playtime Co. had a single clue what to do except for one genius employee, my creator. In order to get the true edge they needed, he knew it was time to take some chances. They needed a true X-Factor. Lucky for him, he had just the thing. Before I knew it, I sprung into being, like a roaring fire emerging from a single spark. My creator was overjoyed. He knew I had just the right amount of spice to kick the smiling critter's brand back into high gear. Before he went off to tell the tales of his success to the CEO, he brought me to home sweet home in order to play with my new family, the smiling critters. I was shy at first, worried that I wouldn't fit in, but those feelings quickly buckled under my strength. Huh? Who's the cow? I'm Bolt Trap. Good to meet me. Um, well, hiya, Bull Trap. I'm Hoppy. Uh-huh. And who's that loser over there? Hey, Brownie Fox isn't a loser. He's just sensitive. Don't be a bully. Ugh, fine. I'll make nice with the little crybaby. Hey, what you reading? Uh, uh, uh p poetry? Really? I love poetry. Y you do? Yeah. It is one. Roses are red, violets are blue. The stupid grey fox is about to be both, too. Whoa, whoa, wait! Hey! What do you think you're doing? He's establishing the pecking order around here. And it's about time, too. Brownie Fox was giving us a bad name anyway. This isn't right! Hey, Bulltrap, stop! Why? Are you boyfriend or something? What? No! Of course not! <laughs> <laughs> Hot being frowny, sitting in a tree. K R S S R N G. Stop it! Leave us alone, you big bully! I could feel it. The energy from picking on losers gave me strength. I wanted more. And luckily, I was given plenty of opportunities to get it. I was on top of the world. Soon, I had the run of home sweet home, and life was good. Despite being the king of playcare, there were always challenges to the throne. I'm telling you, Dog Day, this has gone too far. Uh, hey, uh, what happened to you? Bulltrap, what happened to you? Bulltrap? Ah, who does he think he is anyways? Coming here and acting like he owns the place. You're the leader here, not him. He thinks he can boss us around just because he's bigger than us? Hey, wait a minute. That gives me an idea. Meet me at the incinerator. We've got a bully to bully. Sup, Pipsqueaks. You here to pay homage to your king? Not quite. Oh, catnap! C catnap? So you're the one who's been terrorizing my friends, eh? Well, uh, th they started it. That's not how they tell it. You know, Bulltrap, I don't quite think you're on brand for us. You see, we all got our start as humans, whereas you, well, you're just a stupid little toy. And we simply don't want to play with you anymore. So, 
You're fired! No! Or we return! And our dead. Luckily for me, your little friend soon sent Fowny Fox down to join me. I was able to feed off that reject's energy long enough to sustain myself and grow into this magnificent beast you see before you with my new form. I'm unstoppable. His pendant! That's what gives him his power! Kidnap! Keep him busy! Right. Well, Boltrap, now's your chance for revenge. Come get some. I got it! Here goes nothing! No! My pendant! What have you done? No! Not so big now, huh? You haven't seen the last of me! You'll be sorry! No! Oh. Ah. <laughs> wakey, oh. wakey! <laughs> what was that? It sounded like one of the kittens. My kittens! Where do you think you're taking them? It's locked, but a little door won't stop me. Where are you? Where are my kittens? Hmm? What's this? Ah, they booby trapped the place. Doesn't matter. Nothing will keep me from. You! A few unimaginative traps aren't going to stop me. to run now what no let me out of here right now <laughs> get back here with my kittens oh, I need to find a way through these bars or maybe around them Shh, it's okay you're safe with me Let's get you into bed, shall we? There you are. Aren't you glad to see your mama? <coughs> up, up, up. No more tears. Not with mommy here. Oh, how I've always longed to be a mother. Ever since I was a little girl, being a mother was my life's dream. But that couldn't happen right away, so... I decided to become a teacher, but not just for any school. Right here at Playcare. It seemed like the perfect fit. I didn't have a child of my own, and my students didn't have parents of their own. We could fill the void in each other's hearts. I was so excited for my first day, but I could have never expected what was about to happen. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm Dog Day. That's a great costume you've got there, sweetheart. It's not a costume. I had no idea my students were smiling critters. At first, I was disappointed that I had them instead of real human children like I dreamed. But there was something special about those critters. It was impossible not to love them. It was nice to meet you. Have a nice day, Mom. I mean, miss the light. But I knew they would never fill the void in my heart that was meant for a child. Thankfully, I met someone. He was handsome, kind, tall, and we had so much in common. Except, how do you feel about kids? Ugh, they're so annoying and so needy. Help me tie my shoes. Why is the grass green? Can we get a puppy? I can never deal with that nonsense. Oh, I don't even get me started on paying for college. Well, I love kids. That's why I'm a teacher. 
right about that. Are you sure it's take your short-term boyfriend to work day? It's on the school calendar. Uh, come with me. I knew once he met the smiling critters, his heart would melt and he'd warm up to the idea of children. Class, there's someone special I'd like you to meet. My boyfriend. Wow, hi, boyfriend. What are these things? These are the smiling critters. They're my students, dear. Ugh. Why do they look so weird? They're not weird, they're sweet. They're just like regular kids. Don't you think they're precious? Uh, not really. I already don't like regular human kids. Creepy stuffed animal kids are even worse. Honey, if you can't let this kid thing go. What? But, but I can't not have kids. Then you'll have to find someone else. I'm sorry. Class is dismissed. I was shattered, but I still had one last chance at motherhood. But even adoption was no longer an option for me. I was sad. I was angry. And all that sadness and anger just got worse until... Until those horrible scientists did what they did to me. But then you, three beautiful babies, came along. It was the perfect opportunity for me to do what I was always meant to do. My life's true mission. Make it stop. Uh, won't you please go to sleep? Oh my, catnap, aren't those the most beautiful kins you've ever seen? Most beautiful and most noisy. Having trouble, I see? Don't get me wrong, I love them, but they need so much from me. They always need the litter box, or they're hungry, or they're crying. I'm only one cat. Oh, then how about I give you a hand? Hello, little baby, hello. I fell in love immediately, and you loved me too. But Cadnap had other ideas. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's not a good idea to go grabbing someone else's baby, you know. Right, I don't know what came over me, but uh, maybe I could babysit them sometime? Give you a break? You can be on the wait list. Hoppy and Bobby and Baba and Dog Day all ask to babysit first. Of course, I understand. I refuse to let Catnap interfere with my destiny. And if he wouldn't give you to me, then I would take you. And now you're all mine, and you're so happy, aren't you? Aren't you happy to be with Mama? You are not their Mama. I heard your messed up story. Mr. Light, I'm sorry that happened to you, but those kittens are mine. If you really love them, you'll let me have them. No, I need them! Don't worry, my little litter, I gotcha. My babies! Come back here, catnap! Ah, she knows the way around this school way better than I do. Maybe I can use my cat-like senses to find a way out. Aha! I knew I could do it! Well, darn it. <laughs> I've caught you in my trap, kitty cats. Tisk tisk, putting your babies in harm's way just so you don't have to give them up? You're the one swinging that mace around. You could at least baby-proof it. Hmm, you're right. I'll do just that after taking care of you. Fine. Hmm? If you want to have them, then fine. Do what you want with me. As long as my kittens stay safe, that's all I care about. R really My babies? I'll never let you go. Indigo, now. Oh, hey. Oh. Great work, kids. Now let's get out of here. No, come back, please! All I wanted was to care for someone! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Mr. Light. <gasps> it's obvious you want to help. And I understand that being here in the first place was not your choice. Or any of our choice. If it means that much to you, I could use a babysitter tomorrow night. On one condition. <laughs> No more trying to kill me. Deal. <laughs> ah, he's gaining on us! We gotta find 
somewhere to hide! I told you all this would happen! Run all you want! I'll catch up to you before you know it! Where can we even go? He knows Blake here just as well as we do! We have nowhere to hide! Home sweet home is our best bet for now! Let's go! Ah! Guys, wait! Help me! <laughs> no! Oh my gosh! He got Kick and Chicken! And if we're not careful, we'll be next! Here, get under the bed! It's no use! He's gonna get us! I told you! This is why we don't wake up Catnap! I'm sorry, Picky Piggy. I should have believed you from the start. Can't sleep. <sighs> of course, I can put everyone to sleep by myself. It's no use. I need to figure out another way. Maybe there's something in here. Paper mache volcanoes, eternal life potion, chocolate chip cookie recipe. Aha! Sleeping potion! Extra strong! All right, let's see if I can figure this out, considering I can't read. Looks perfect. Cheers! What? This was supposed to be instant. Maybe it needs more. Chocolate chips? Oh, this is useless. Well, another sleepless night for... Now, where did I put them? I promised I'd give them back, but... Oh, there they are! I'll make sure I don't wake him up. Sleep well, my friend. Somewhere, little piggy. Oh my gosh, Catnap. I didn't mean to wake you up. I was just grabbing these before I forgot. You didn't mean to wake me up, but you did. A and I'm really sorry. Really sorry? Really sorry won't cut it. Ah! <laughs> He's this mad over being woken up from a nap. Doesn't seem like the catnap I know. Where are you, little piggy? I hope you didn't see me. You can't hide. <sighs> Forever. You win tonight. I have to get back to sleep before I fall right over. <sighs> I think he's gone. I've never seen catnap like that. It was terrifying. Uh, maybe it was just a dream. Time to sleep, Piggy. If I can. Must sleep. Must sleep. <sighs> I'm sorry, Kenna. I didn't mean to wake you. No. No. Good morning. Guys, can you be quiet? Quiet? How are you still asleep? It's like mid-afternoon. I just fell asleep now. Why? Scared of the dark? Ha! The dark's not what I'm scared of. Something crazy happened last night. I accidentally woke Catnap up from his sleep and he attacked me. He went crazy. I've never seen anything like it. To be fair, I get pretty grumpy in the morning too. This wasn't just grumpy. He changed. He chased me and tried to kill me. Are you sure it wasn't just a nightmare? No, I, I, I don't think so. Ah, morning, everyone. Or should I say afternoon? I had an amazing night's sleep. Ah! Piggy Piggy, are you okay? Get away from me. You know what you did. What I did? What did I do? You tried to kill me last night. 
Ha! I was out like a light last night, sleeping like a rock. You must have had a nightmare. That's what we said! Relax, Picky Piggy! He's not gonna hurt you! It's true. I'd never hurt you. Alright. If you say so. I don't believe him. I'm gonna record it tonight. Then you'll all see! Sure we will! You will! I'm gonna have proof, and you'll all help me! Whew, this is my most dangerous mission yet. I have to wake Catnap, lure him to the camera, and then run for my life once I got evidence. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, come on! Of course he doesn't wake up when I want him... to... Uh-oh. You again! <laughs> I told you nothing was gonna happen! No time for an I told you so kick and chicken! We need to run! <laughs> From what? <laughs> ah! Oh my god, you were right! Run! Is that enough proof for you? Okay, fine! I believe you! Shh! Yeah. Gosh, chasing tires me out. I'll get them tomorrow night. Am I dead? Did he get us? What are you doing in here? Dog Day, she was right. Catnap turned evil at night. Now you're both talking crazy. Look, I don't know what you think you saw, but it wasn't Catnap. And you gotta stop waking him up at night. But our charms are in his room. You didn't mention that. We need to get them back. If we're without our charms for too long, we'll turn into regular inanimate toys. <gasps> And it has to be at night. Catnap keeps his room locked during the day. Then we'll get them back, tonight. Do you have a death wish? Come on, the three of us can pull it off. Just follow my lead. All right, got my socks? My camouflage? He won't hear or see a thing. Let's go. I told you I could do it, and he's not even awake! This guy will sleep through anything! Achoo! I spoke too soon, huh? Who will you fools learn? Do you believe me now? Okay, fine! You were right! Run! I'm sorry, Piggy Piggy. I should have believed you from the start. I think I have an idea. When I was recording Catnap, I saw him drink some kind of potion. Maybe that's what made him like this. Well, we're not chemists. How are we going to fix that? I don't know, but I think the lab is where we should start. I'll distract him. You run to the lab. Got it? Hey, big guy. Sorry about the rude awakening from your catnap. Oh, hey! That's where your name comes from! Good luck! So if this is the recipe, maybe I'll do it backwards. You! If you're so determined to make sure I can't sleep, I'll make sure you can't sleep forever! Night, night, piggy. Wait, what? What's happening? Uh, oh man, did I just wake up? What time is it? I had the best night's sleep. Huh? <coughs> Oops! Better not wake up Picky Piggy. She's grumpy when she's tired. Celebrate!
gauge the, uh, love between our friend Catnap and his, uh, darling, Smitten Kitten. And let me just say, we could not be happier to have you here. Yes, could not be happier. There is nowhere else I would rather be. I do not wish this wasn't happening, and I am doing it of my own free will. Hmm, I have a bad feeling about this. What was that, Dog Day? Are you objecting? Are you? No, I, uh, I never. I was just saying, I have a great feeling about this. That's more like it. Now, Catnap, repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed. Catnap, Catnap the ring. The ring, sweetheart. Right, uh, uh-oh. I seem to have forgotten it. Oh, you're so silly. Well, go and get it. I'll be right back. I'll, uh, make sure he doesn't get lost. Catnap, are you okay? No, I am not okay. Smith and Kitten arranged this marriage. I don't want to be here. I don't want to get married, and I definitely do not love her. I'm just going to sit in this basement forever until I die. Though I get the feeling even that won't stop her. Why do you hate her? She seems to really like you. Dog day, she's crazy. The CEO created her as sort of a copy of me, one he could control. But as soon as she was made, she fell in love with me. I had no idea, but she was stalking me, watching my every move, totally obsessed with me. Then she took it too far. She kidnapped Bobby and Hobby and tried to kill Poppy and Kissy Missy. Every female I talked to became her target. Luckily, with Kissy Missy's help, I was able to subdue her and lock her away for good. We thought there was no way she could make it past that huge boulder. She was strong, but not that strong. Oh, Catnap, my dear. He loves me, he loves me not. A puny door can't keep us apart. <sighs> We're like Romeo and Juliet if Romeo trapped Juliet in a basement. Oh, hello? What's all this? The basement was full of lab equipment. It was all busted, so we thought it was fine, but... Oh, actually, this might be exactly what I need. To put it kindly, she got totally shredded. And she became strong enough to break free, but she didn't stop at pure strength. My dear Catnap, you're almost mine. But I can't just bust out and expect things to go differently. I might need some technology on my side this time. She created an explosive device. Now, now I'm ready. Honey, I'm home! She set out for revenge. And this time, I wasn't her only target. No, she wanted revenge against everyone who had wronged her. Don't scream! I know you're excited to see me again, but you don't want to wake up Catnap, do you? Too late for that, Smen Kitten! My beloved, you came back for me? Of course not, you psycho! I'm here to defeat you! With love? No, with this! Oh, playing hard to get yet again! Don't worry, I'm ready this time. Ah, how did you get so strong? Let's just say, I had plenty of time to work on my health and fitness. If you want them, come and get them! You give them back! Little did I know, she had a trick up her sleeve. My dear sweet catnap, I'm so sorry I had to hurt you. Love makes people do crazy things. You don't love me, smitten kitten. You're just obsessed with me. Same thing. What the? A wedding can't happen without a flower curl and an officiant, right? But I'm not ordained. Quiet, you. A wedding? No way. You can't say no before I've even asked. Catnap, will you marry me? Of course not. Hmm. Well, 
I tried asking nicely. Oh, what the? Ah! No, no! I'm getting out of here. What is that? Oh, my head! <laughs> Consider it a wedding gift. <laughs> That's right. I put a little bomb in your head. What? Don't worry, it won't go off unless I set it off using this. Just a little something to entice you to go through with it. If you get cold feet, boom, head gone. But we don't have to worry about that, do we? I, I guess not. She had me cornered. There was no way I was getting out alive and unmarried. So I just followed her lead. Jeez, she's crazy crazy. Catnap, we gotta get you out of this. I know, but the thing is, I would like to keep my head. Good point, we'll find a way out. A way out of what? So you do object? Yes, I object to you forcing my friend to marry you. Hmm, what a shame. Then you'll have to stay here until the wedding's over, won't you? Huh? No! Let me out! Let me out! Ah! There must be something here that can get me out! Aha! Perfect! Sorry for the delay, everybody! Catnap got so excited, he needed a moment. Isn't that right, sweetheart? Oh, yes, that's right. Let's get this over with. All right! Three, two, one! Hey, catch that! Okay! Yay! I get married next! Aw, congratulations! Now give it back! Poppy, run! That's part of the tradition! If you say so! Get back here! Dog Day? Was this you? Kind of. Did it work? A little. But listen, we have to help Poppy. She has the bouquet. Oh no. If Smitten Kitten gets it... It's kaboom. Come on, let's go. You darn smiling critters have been trying to keep me and my beloved apart since the very beginning. Well, I won't have it anymore. Once we're married, I will destroy you all! And Catnap will have no one else! He'll have to love me! And play care will be all ours! <laughs> hey! Ow! I'm getting the feeling we're not meant to be after all, Catnap. Perhaps our relationship should come to an end. We're growing apart, and I don't know if I'm ready for such a big commitment after all. Spank Kitten, ah, uh, darling! Please don't press that button. Sorry, Catnap. It's time to get divorced. Huh? What? My head. It's intact. Ah, you weren't supposed to let me do it! It wasn't real. All along. It was kind of real. Ugh, I couldn't figure out how to make an explosive small enough. I just put a chip in your head to scare you and make you marry me. All I wanted was to legally bind you to me so you could never leave! Is that so bad? Yes! Catnap, look what I brought! I'm sorry, Smitten Kitten, but to have loved and lost is better than to have never loved at all. So what are we gonna do when she wakes up? She'll just fall in love again! She will, but not with me. For me? I wonder what this could be. What the? Where am I? And who are you, handsome? Oh no, 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 no! Ah, no! 